Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Sky K. Today is episode 7, and we are actually back in 1.13.2. The server was too laggy, people were complaining. So Dwayne went and just wiped the world and put it back into 1.13.2. Uh, by wipe, I mean he just rolled it back to what it was before the update. So this is great. Well, for me it is anyway. Whoops. Hello, happy Zoe. So let's go server. SMP. Ooh. Yeah, I did do a bit of exploring after that last video. My frame rates don't seem too bad. Well, they always jump around whenever I first join anyway. Bit like... I can break a block without any lag. My lovely villagers are back going again, producing lovely stuff. And, well, I, I like the texture pack that we've got now. Well, the new update it actually looks pretty nice. But I prefer what the potato texture pack is. And I can't remember if I showed you guys what the texture pack looks like for the lovely bones. But those bones look pretty horrible. They seem to try and brighten up the game a lot more. Do I have any hiding around in here? Oh, I've got a lot of junk lying in there. Yeah, the bones. I prefer the looks of the bones here compared to the new update. So anyway, since we are now back at it again at this lovely update, hopefully they're going to keep it like this for a little, little while longer before I decide what I want to do with these farms when the update occurs. So today, I'm going to show you guys my end chest with a couple bits and pieces in here. We are going to start work on the lovely new shop, because the one I've got right now is it's pretty horrible. In reality, like, walk, walk in here through these pressure plates. It, it's hideous. It's a hideous shop compared to some other servers on the, well, other shops on the server. So today we are going to start work on a lovely new shop. And I have been doing some grinding for it. Um, I just have to find where I've got it. I think it's up around here, hopefully. So as you can see, this is a little concrete making machine. So I've got some light blue concrete and blue concrete all stacked up in here. And I don't realise how long this takes to do. To make it, to click the resources to get the light blue. Took quite a while to click those orchids. I think that's what they're called. And then just to sit here, mining it away and placing it at the same time. Just this little tiny chest here. Took me two and a half hours. I don't know how, how people can do it. Especially as those people on the Hermitcraft server. Ground grinding away at stuff, it's just painful. You can't do anything else. So the new update of 1.41, it should be quite cool seeing able to automatically blow stuff up and get 100% of the stuff back anyway. So my shop I am planning to build, I'm just quickly going to grab some ladders and I'll be back in a tick. Okay, well, so I've grabbed myself some lovely ladders here. And my shop is going to be located down below this area here. So this is the centre of my claim that I've got here. There should be no way they're falling in lava or anything. So I want to just dig down so it's down below the base a little bit so I, it can look, I can at least build up. And so I don't have an ugly structure building out. Because if you see my shop from the outside it is absolutely hideous. So this is where I am planning to start work on the lovely shop. So I'm just going to do the first off by placing this down here. Now can I place a lever underneath with that power up top? Oh, that's beautiful. Doing that there. So this is where I am going to be building my shop, which I've just said before. Sorry about that. And it's going to be going the full length. So it's going to be an interesting style to shop. Or it's going to be a plain style, I should say. It's going to be a big open cavern through here. And then it's, we're going to have a stairwell going up either side. Then we're going to have platforms going straight along. And I just wave my hands in the air like you guys can see what I'm doing, which you cannot. So it's going to go the full length down the room. And it's going to sell, well, wood and also other blocks. And it's going to be selling blocks that you can't 
which people one off need, such as Nether Brick. Well, because it's not too hard to get. But then, since I have got two efficiency picks, I thought, well, since the shops are all fixed and since we're back in this update, I can now start working on this. Oh, Aquaman looks good. If you're even Aquaman. I'm going to go ahead and buy myself a beacon. Oh, not too much, are they? Oh, one grand. Not too bad. So here we go. Got ourselves a lovely beacon. And let's go back to my base. Is this going to take me back there? Slash back? Is this here? Yep, there we go. So now I have to go and grab some blocks to try and activate this beacon. I think it's a stack and a half or something. I'm just going to go grab those and we can place this beacon just deep under the ground. Which I'm going to hopefully place it underneath this area here. I'm assuming it's going to go through hoppers. Or I might stick a hole down here. That's what I might do. I'll be back once I grab the blocks for that there. Here we go everyone. This is the last block going in. Oh, well, I should probably do it with this here. We've now placed down the first beacon of the essence of this season of this survival. Oh, I just can't get the words out right now. And now it's, it's a full powered beacon. Let's go. Here we go. Got a beaconator achieved. And let's place down ourselves haste, haste two, and let's check that there. Now I should have instant mine. Oh, I just felt this so satisfying. Just now, just destroy blocks. And if you guys know what I'm going to be doing right now, is I'm now going to go up here grind because this is actually my home. Is <laughs> this is the only way I have to get home? Because all my other homes are set at different locations on the map. And now I'm going to go ahead and pretty much clear out this whole area underneath. I shouldn't. I should be below this farm, hopefully not get spomped with water. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear out this large area where the future shop will go. And I will see you guys once I finish doing that. Hang on, how do I check? Am I still in range? I am still in range, that is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear out a huge square area here. And I'll be back when we start to decorate this lovely empty dark space so see you guys once that occurs which shouldn't be too long with haste to anyway see you guys here we go everyone this is what this huge space is now looking like this is where the lovely store will be going and no it is not going to be an ugly square it should look quite fancy hopefully that is what i am trying to plan to do anyway so the style that i'm going with is pretty much blue it's going to have a light blue strip going down the middle with a lovely bit of glass going along the top and that there is going to go around the entire bottom like this here and we're going to have a lovely dark ring wrapping around the top which is going to go right the way down to the end of this build. Now how this is going to look is it is going to have some bits wrapping around the side. Do I have slabs down here? No, I do not. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a three wide area. It's going to be three blocks tall coming up. So this is going to be the back of the build here. So I'm just going to, don't want to place a torch down, I need that to see. We need this here to go up around like this here. It's going to wrap around. And then this build is going to be going in a couple blocks. Why don't I have anything I need? So this is going to have like a little area going in like so. It's going to be going in one block deep. I didn't mean to place that one there. Let's steal a block from here. Lift that there up. And that is going to be placing up another wall. And this here is going to be going, it's working its way back slowly. And then it's going to go along, one, two, one, two. And then we're going to be putting it up. So we're going to have a stairway wrapping its way around going up here. So it's going to be made out of slabs. Now 
Now this stairway is going to be working away differently. So we're going to have it working its way up through the corner nice and slowly. So it's going to be doing a sort of little pattern going along like this here. So it's going to be, it's probably, I'm good at placing these blocks, aren't I? <laughs> there we go, that one there is now placed in. So as you can see, it is like a little stairway working its way up here. Now, well, we, now along here, we are going to give ourselves a lovely little blue block here. And then going in behind this, we are going to do a little spruce pillar going up just a couple blocks. Now hidden in behind this one here, we're going to continue our little blue strip going along. And then underneath this bit here, this is where we are now starting our chests. So we place in another bit there. And our chests are going to be going all the way along here. So how I'm doing this chest design is I am... I need to get some redstone lamps. Let's just jump over here again and grab some of those. Now that I have my redstone lamps and my inventory here, we can now place in our chests. And we are going to be doing like a little system going along the back here. So it's going to be going along. We're going to be having our redstone lamp going in here. Our comparator going along the back there, running into a block like this here. So now whenever we have an item, just say a stick in stock, or we have any items in stock, it will light up so that people can know that we are in stock. Then hidden behind here, we are then going to have our two chests. So this is going to be the process going repeating along the entire length of this. Redstone lamp, underneath that there, a lovely blue block there. That is popping up to there, going into a brick, and going into another cobblestone brick there. Then we're going to have our lovely hoppers going along like so. Love this new chest design, but sometimes it can be a little bit annoying if you hold shift click down. So this is going to be a sort of design for the shop. A nice and simple design. And if we're out of stock, it's just going to simply deselect and then it won't light up, and that they should hopefully keep everyone happy. So if they're walking here, they're not spamming it constantly, going, oh, why is there no wood? They should be able to know that we're out of stock, and we should be able to store plenty in these two chests here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to place in the chest either side, and I'm going to place in our little pathway that is going up behind here, which we need to add in another brick there, or another slab, I should say, going along there. And this one here wraps around a couple bits like that there. So we've got a little plus sort of area. Now we just need to lift up these walls here. And I will go and take these concrete bits down below. So we're not wasting as many resources. So I'm going to go ahead and do that there. I'm going to place some of these chests and place in this top row going along here. And I'll show you guys this update very soon. And by soon, I'll probably be doing it the next day because it's quite late right now. So, see you guys when I've added in this extra area here. The shop won't be quite ready, but see you guys then. Here we go, everyone. Just popping down here. It has been quite some time since that last quick clip, I should say. I have had quite a busy week. So, here we go. We've got a little storage room around here. It's actually not the brightest. I need to add in another plate down there. Do I have one there? Let's quickly add one in there now. Do we have... A lever lying around somewhere it does not look like we do so let's quickly craft one of those there up and let's place in probably one about it's not going to be center let's just place one down here turn that there on and let's place in that lovely lamp there there we go it looks a little bit better so we've got a little storage room here it's still making in the progress but if we pop through here you can see what the store looks like. It is looking amazing. Well, to me anyway, it's looking a lot better than my shop up above ground. There is room, a lot of room for improvement. Like the roof is not the best looking. It's a little bit ugly. Then we come up the stairway here. And we can see the farm items here. The melons will automatically fill up. The price is a little bit high at the moment. But I will change that in the future. And you can see blocks which I started laying out of what I will be selling. And all the lamps will indicate when I have got stock, which is going to be pretty nice. And if we walk around here, we can see all our wood is slowly in stock. I don't have any of this jungle wood at the moment, but that will be coming soon. And you can see we are going to be selling 
XP bottles. I'm not sure if that's going to be too cheap or not. So 500 or 5k for 30 levels of XP. Some mending books as well, which I've only got a couple there. Oh, I've got too many of them. And yes, I did show you all my stock there, but that's because it's taken me quite some time to do that. Because all this resource gathering has taken a good couple months to do. So that there's not just one little grind, that is a few months worth of stocking up. And yes, I'm going to probably have people spam here. But anyway, this is what the store's looking like. I've still got more stock to come in. That's why I'm just laying this down here, because I'm not sure of what the price is going to be hit. But this is really all I've got time for today. Oh, it's been like a few weeks anytime. But hope you guys all love this design. And by the time this video releases, the store should be open to the public. So I'm just going to quickly pop out here with my little access badge so no one else can get in and out. So I'll just chuck that through there. And I'll pop up and lift me out of that door there. I do have a few of these. And these will be given out to certain people on the server so they can come and visit my place but this is what it's looking like and i have got plans to tidy up this place this building here is going to stay for the time being but i'm probably going to tear it down in the near future near or far future because if you're looking here it's pretty hideous really i prefer the new design which i have come up with and yeah it should be pretty good hope everyone enjoyed watching this video and I will probably see you guys. Oh, I bet she sold. It's a lot of voting key for eight grand, really. Hope you guys all are watching, enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. And that's everyone who's online at the moment. So I'll see you guys next time. And my store will be open. So that should be pretty good. And yeah, we should see you guys next time. Okay, yep. Let's, I suppose, do that outro. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.